Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Sunday Night Football Post Game Show and Monday Night Football Update Show. Uh, we'll get to the Monday Night Football game and the Sunday Night Football game. Well, right now, well, I'm going to do that, the Sunday Night Football game, as the uh, the uh, uh, L.A. Chargers beat the uh, Chicago Bears 30 to 13 last night at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California. Uh, uh, leading up to Sunday night, uh, Brandon Staley was looking for uh, his Los Angeles Chargers to have a game where they could put all three uh, phases together. Justin Herbert was hoping for a performance where he didn't spend five minutes discussing the broken middle finger on his non-throwing hand. Both say they reached their goals as the Chargers routed the Chicago Bears, as I mentioned, 30-13 to 13 in front of a primetime audience. I think so, I think so, Staley said, when uh, asked if this was his team's most complete performance of the season. I thought that's what we were in search of. Uh, what was to feel that complete game where you're feeding off each other and the levels are high the whole way. Herbert, who passed for 298 yards and uh, three touchdowns, directed the Chargers, uh, who are now three and four on the season, to uh, to points on their first five drives, marking the first time in six seasons they have accomplished that fate. Uh, Herbert, who had struggled with accuracy. In the past two games, after breaking uh, the middle finger on his left hand four weeks ago, completed his first uh, 16 passes and was 31 of 40. Uh, I think just every week it's getting better, said Herbert, who didn't wear a glove on his left hand and just want and just went with the finger heavily uh, bandaged for the first time. I thought we had a great plan. We went out there and we executed exactly what we were going to do. I'm not surprised that we had a great had great success moving the ball early. It was the first time in two years that Herbert passed for three uh, touchdowns in the first half, finding Austin uh, Elker, uh, Simei uh, uh, Faheko, and Donald Parham to help stake the ch stake the Chargers to a 24-7 lead at at the break. Uh, the Chargers looked like they were going to be in for another long night on defense with uh, Darnell uh, Mooney for a 41-yard completion down the right sideline on the first play. That would be that would be the only play to the Chargers. Uh, play though the Chargers allowed at least 20 yards. Darwin James and Jason Taylor gave Los Angeles the, their first game with two interceptions this season. The defense also came up with uh, three, four down stops, fourth down stops. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, uh, I think we did a good job stopping the run uh, uh, first. And the defensive backs did a really good job of uh, taking the ball away. I think it was just a solid game all around, said linebacker Joey Bosa, who had a sack on special teams. Cameron uh, Dicker had his you know, second game this season with three field goals and two coming in the second half. Uh, uh, Bagnett had more and a more difficult time in his second NFL start. The undrafted rookie was 25 of 37 for 232 yards with two interceptions. Uh, he did have one yard sneak late in the fourth quarter to get the Bears within within 30 to 13. Uh, Bagnett's two point pass attempt was incomplete. I feel like there was a lot of plays where I am getting through my. Uh, Reads and making correct throws, and then I think there are a couple where I maybe forced the issue a bit. So 
I've got to do a better job of that going forward, uh, Baggins said. The Bears still haven't won consecutive games since the last two weeks of the 2021 season. The glaring things that sounded that stood out to me and what my message was, was at halftime for the players, was we had a lot of penalties on offense that set us back. And then on defense, it was really simply about uh, fundamentals that were that was where they got their opportunities. Coach Matt uh, Elberfliss said, uh, Austin uh, Elliker uh, finished with 123 scrimmage yards, including seven receptions for 94 yards. Los Angeles scored on its opening drive for the fourth time this season when uh, Elliker took a uh, Herbert screen pass down the left sideline. Uh, for 39 yards, that made uh, uh, Elkers uh, the first the first running back in in the Super Bowl era to reach uh, 30 uh, touchdown catches with the same team and the seventh player in NFL history to have 30 touchdowns uh, rushing and 30 receiving. Uh, you don't really know how the chips are going to fall when the game starts going, you go with the flow, and tonight the ball was coming my way, uh, Elliker said. With 147 remaining in the first half, uh, Darrington Evans took a bag against toss and went 11 yards and got the Bears, uh, who are now fell to 2-6 and six on the season with within 17-7. to seven. Uh, However, the Chargers uh, Regained momentum before halftime with a nine-play, 75-yard drive. Uh, Kelly mentioning in uh, Parham's 11-yard score where he broke a couple of tackles before getting over the goal line. I thought we really uh, fed off each other uh, today. We gave up a touchdown drive. We kind of finished the two minute before the half with a uh, big-time score, Staley said. It was just... Uh, Kind of a, a surgical drive, Justin was accurate the whole way down. Uh, so 24-7 was a lot better than 17-7. Now, there were Bears had some injuries. Uh, Bears linebacker uh, Tremaine Edwards went down with a knee injury uh, during the third quarter and did not return. Chargers tight end Gerald uh, Everett was declared inactive after suffering a hip injury during the third quarter of last weekend's game at Kansas City. Up next, the Bears are at New Orleans to take on the Saints next Sunday, uh, this coming Sunday, I should say. And the Chargers travel to New York to the New York Jets next Monday night. It will be the Chargers and Jets. So we shall see what they do on a Monday night football. I don't know who I'm going to go with for that game, but we'll see. So... And uh, we'll get to the Monday night game in uh, just a moment. But uh, first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football Week 8 Trivia Question. And it's a Lions Trivia Question. How many times did Detroit Lions running back Barry Sanders make the Pro Bowl during his 10-year career? And I'm going to have it a little bit later in the podcast. Well, it's halftime and in between the fourth field. And the Lions are up 16 uh, to 7 right now. And both my brother-in-law and I have Detroit for this game tonight. And the uh, Lions are uh, are, uh, coming off a... uh, 38-6 38-6 blowout loss to the Ravens last week. And the uh, Raiders are coming off a 30-12 loss to the Bears last week. So both these teams are going to be out to win. I think Detroit will get the win. And uh, and right now we're going to – I'm going to recap it for you. The uh, uh, first quarter, uh, the uh, – the uh, Lions could not uh, get into uh, the uh, touch. They're going to get in the end zone, but uh, 
Patterson kicked a 44-yard field goal, and it was good, and it was 3-0 Detroit. And the Raiders had the punt after going uh, three and out after four plays and 21 yards. And then Detroit had a fumble. Uh, Jared Goff's pass a short right intended uh, to uh, Jer- to uh, J- Jerry Re- to Reynolds to, uh, de- to to the Detroit for Detroit 27 for 15 yards. And he, it was a fumble, and Masterson touched it to Detroit, recovered by the Raiders. Uh, uh, I think it's uh, Raheem Spillane at the uh, Detroit 26. So, and then the Raiders had an interception. Jimmy Garoppolo passed deep, intended for uh, Devontae Adams, intercepted by Joseph at the uh, Detroit four, and and it was to the Detroit eleven for fifteen yards, and then Detroit had to punt after going three and out, three plays, no yards, and then. Uh, the uh, uh, Raiders had a turnover on downs. It was a fourth and two at the Las Vegas 49. Jimmy Garoppolo pass incomplete to uh, deep right to uh, Ranflo. But before that, a 3 1 uh, Jacobs left into uh, the LA 49 for a one yard game. But that the no games when the turnover on downs happened. Then the Lions tried to get into the end zone, they couldn't do it again. Then Patterson kicked a 31 yard field goal, and and it was uh. Uh, six nothing at the end of the uh, first quarter. Uh, in the second quarter, the uh, Raiders had a punt after going three and out, three plays and four yards. Detroit tried to get in the end zone again, still couldn't do it. They were not able to. Patterson get the thirty-three yard field goal, uh, and it was good. And it was nine nothing Detroit. Then the uh, Raiders scored their first touchdown of the game. Uh, Jacobs up the middle for the three-yard score, and uh, the extra point was good, and it was uh, 9-7 Detroit. And then the, the uh, uh, Detroit Lions scored their first touchdown of the game. Jared Goss passed short right middle to uh, uh, Simon Laporta for eighteen for the 18-yard score, and the, uh, the uh, extra point was good. It was 16-7 Detroit, and... Uh, it was a uh, kickoff of 65 yards from Detroit, 35 to the end zone touch for a touchback. Uh, Abadula right tackle. Uh, and Abadula right tackle to the LV32 for seven yards. And that was the end of the first half. And that's where we stand right now is at 16-7 Detroit. And the third quarter is about to get underway. We'll talk more about this game in just a moment. But right now, it is time to reveal the answer to today's Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football Week 8 trivia question. How many times did Detroit Lions running back Barry Sanders make the Pro Bowl during his NFL 10-year career? And if you said 10 times, you are correct. A Pro Bowl uh, invitee uh, in each of his 10 NFL seasons and two-time NFL Offensive Player of the Year, Sanders led the league in rushing yards four times and established himself as one of the most elusive runners in pro football history with his quickness and agility. And uh, I will have another trivia question on uh, my next podcast, which will probably be most likely for Thursday Night Football. So uh, stay tuned for that. And so now getting back to tonight's game, I really think Detroit, Detroit has been playing very well. They were they had to they kick three field goals, but did score one touchdown in the first quarter. I think they're going to come out and play really hard that second half. And I do think uh, the Raiders, they need to really get some momentum going. They need to step it up in that second half. They want to get the win. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 uh, Sunday Night Football Post Game Show, Monday Night Football Update Show. I'll be back with the Monday Night Football postgame show once the game between the Lions and Raiders has concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.